I hope everyone's doing well. I thought I would start a quick little live stream today. I am in a bit of a rush because I'm going to the rodeo today. I I mentioned that in my last video, and I did record that video last night. So um, if you guys are a little bit confused about me saying I was going to the rodeo tomorrow, today is tomorrow. So yeah, I'm going to the rodeo. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with our Houston Rodeo, but it is a huge, big event. Everyone from Elvis has played. It's been going on for, I don't know, 80 years maybe. <laughs> and I actually saw Elvis Presley at the Astrodome when I was pretty young, I guess 10, 12 years old. I'm not even sure. But um, my dad took us there to, oh, I hope that message didn't come in on the screen. Anyway, um, I don't know why it's coming in on me. I'm going to turn this off for just a second because otherwise it's going to keep disturbing me. It's... I'm not sure. I <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyway, let me quickly uh, tell you about the rodeo. We are going to the rodeo. I'm going with a friend. I've never gone with a friend in forever. Like I said, it's a huge big deal. Everyone from Elvis has played there. I saw Elvis there years, years, years ago when I was really small. I'm not that old, guys. But uh, I did see him. I'll never forget it. And I saw him also in... Um, the arena, I think it was called the Hemisphere Arena in San Antonio as well. And I must have been about 10 when I saw him there as well. 10 years old, I don't remember. But it was an amazing, amazing show. And uh, my dad took us to it. So, And then we saw him here at the Houston Rodeo. And I also saw Selena. Who else have I seen? Charlie Pride. A lot of big stars. Uh, you know, uh, Straight, George Strait. The big show, the big draw this year is Garth Brooks. I'm not a real Garth Brooks fan. I really prefer the old school Western music, country Western, as I like to call it. My, my daughter tells me I should just call it country, but I'm, you know, old school. I call it country Western. Anyway, guys, so that's where I'm headed in about an hour. She's texting me now to see if what time I'm leaving. I've told her a million times, but let me tell her again. Because we're meeting meeting at a shuttle where we can just drive to the to the Reliant. It's in the huge Reliant where we do our football, guys. So it is humongous. And that saves us a little bit of a headache with the traffic. And you wind up paying, I think, $10 for the shuttle, but you wind up paying like I don't know, what is it, $15 to, to park at Reliance? So it's the same thing. Let me open up another window so I can say, hey, I have 12 viewers. Guys, thank you so much for being here. Be sure and give me a thumbs up as soon as you walk in the door or before you leave. And let me see if I can open a window really quickly. And I probably have an echo, don't I? Let me see. I will if I open this window in a minute. Okay, so to prevent that echo, i got to go mute. And I just did that. And now I can see who's in the chat. Hey, Linda, how are you? Guillermo, how are you? KJ Wade, I'm glad you made it. Thank you. Hey, Lisa, thank you for being here. And thank you for being my moderator. Cheryl Silver, how are you? So, yeah, we're headed out to the rodeo. I've got my Luke Casey boots on. I got my turquoise jewelry that I've had for, gosh, I think they're older than my oldest child. Because I bought these turquoise strands from the mall when I was first working. I think I was 17, 18 years old. And I was working at a mall. And there was a beautiful shop that only sold Native American goods and authentic Native American goods. And I swear I would go in there. Everyone I get paid, I think Thursday or Friday, every Friday, I would go in there. And I would spend all my money. Luckily, I was living with my mother who didn't charge me rent. Well, I was, was I in high school? I think I was no I never worked here in high school I was uh, I was just um, trying to figure out what to do in my life <laughs> no then I was working pretty much I got a fabulous job at Brown and Root immediately and making more money back then than I make now as a teacher without a degree I think I've mentioned that before yeah I actually made more money working for Brown and Root back in the 70s and 80s than I make today that's a real shame isn't it but that's just the way it is, I guess. So that's why I resell. Guys, everybody doing okay? I'm so glad you're here. Hey, Lonnie, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you popping in. Like I said, I'm headed out to the rodeo. Going to go see, I think, Brad Paisley. I don't even know who that is. Really, I mean, I know who he is, but like I said, I'm not really a fan. But I love seeing the, the livestock show. I love seeing the horses. It's just such a big, big deal here in Houston. Um it, like I said, it runs about three or four weeks. And then I have the opportunity to go with a girl from Illinois 
who has no concept of what we do here in Houston as far as rodeo. It was her idea. She said, let's go. She's going to take her um, eight-year-old daughter with us. And, of course, they have a big old campground with all the fabulous food that I'm going to go partake in, everything from candy apples to full-on hot dogs to fried Oreos. To, what else do they fry? They fry everything. They fry everything, and then they dip it in chocolate, and it's just fabulous. So I'm going to have a little bit of everything today. I totally haven't even had breakfast or anything. I'm just going to go hit that that concession big time. So, guys, I'm going to show you a quick haul. I'm going to tell you a story about jewelry and Miss Tanya. Tanya, my prayers are with you and your son. I know he recovered from surgery, and I hope he's doing well. Still praying for him to get up off that pain and everything really quick because I know it's not an easy thing when you have surgery. So... Tanya told us once, do not pick out jewelry from the counter and have them hold it. And I never listen. And I, I mean, I do occasionally, I have done it once or twice where I pay immediately. Like Tanya said, pay immediately for what you find and then go put in the car and come back. Because nine times out of 10, they resell it. You know, you take a long time to look around the store. They think you left or they tell you, hey, we can't hold it. Somebody else will come in second shift and they're like, no, we can't hold it. Well, that's what happened. I had picked out some really nice Brighton jewelry. And guys, if you're not familiar with Brighton, you know the store with the handbags and all that. Their jewelry, silver tone jewelry, sells for almost the same or more or more than sterling silver jewelry. It's just an incredible cult fetish there with those people that buy Brighton jewelry. So I had found this set. It was all together in a little bag. It was the necklace. It was quite elaborate. And the earrings. And I looked at it quickly. I didn't even really take the, all of it out of the bag. And I said, okay, hold that for me. And I got something else and something else and a pair of socks or a big, uh, like a big, um, what do you call it? Economical size pair of socks, like 10 pairs. And, and they were all behind the counter, I guess, because they were new. Anyway, she said, okay, I'll hold it for you. I come back about two hours later and they couldn't find it. And the lady, the younger lady says, well, I think she sold it. Yeah, I think I saw her sell it. I was like, oh, my gosh, I cannot believe it. I said, everything? And then I remembered that I had put a bracelet in between the socks. So I said, how about the socks? Did she leave the socks back somewhere? And then she said, yes. Yeah. So she pulled out the socks, and we found the bangle that I bought. But I lost out on that Brighton, and I'll never, ever do that again. And I always tell them, guys, you know that I'm going to come back. You know I'm going to take two hours. Do not sell the jewelry. But they, they wind up doing it. I don't know why. And, you know. I learned my lesson. I should have learned my lesson a long time ago when this happened to me at a flea market. I used to take a lot of my jewelry to get repaired there and they had, you know, a goldsmith there and everything. Well, I took a huge Figaro chain that I had bought for my husband. I think we wanted to get it shortened or something. I don't even remember. It was years ago. But the guy didn't give out claim tickets. And when I went back for it, he told me that someone else had picked it up. So, yeah, there are some real weasels out there, guys, that will... Oh, thieves, scum of the earth. They will just scam you when they can. So that's what they did. They took they took that gold uh, necklace and the gentleman was kind enough to replace it. I mean, he knew it was his fault. He should have verified it somehow. So he replaced it, but you know, it was never, I never thought as nice as the one I had given my husband. So anyway, long story short, guys, that's not really long story long, right? That's what I have, you know, decided to, to start. This time I'm definitely going to, be sure and, and pay immediately because anyway, I was glad I saved this one because I looked at this bracelet guys and I paid about $2 for it. It's marked $3.99. I looked at this bracelet and I thought, man, that is really, really unique. And that's what I do with things I find at the thrift store. I, I research them right there, you know, as soon as I can. And this one says Poon on it. No, Pono. I don't know if you can see it deep inside of there, right in this little ridge, it says Pono. Yeah, Brighton sells really, really, really well. You may not be able to see it. with It's P-O-N-O. -O, and it's just got the most brilliant embellishment there. I don't know what it is. It's and it fits, Well, it fits me big, so I'm selling it. But I really liked it. And these are selling for $40 on eBay. Never heard of the brand. Have you guys heard of this brand? P-O-N-O. -O. Lola Chicky, how are you? You like Brad Paisley? Well, we're gonna see him today. He's awfully cute, though, isn't he? And I'm hoping to. I'm hoping my friend finds. 
hoping my friend meets somebody today. Isn't that crazy? But I'm just the old fashioned type and I don't think she should be alone. She's just barely in her thirties, divorced. And you know, I was telling her, well, maybe you can meet a cowboy today. You never know, you know, hang out. She's gorgeous. Hang out, talk to people. Don't be afraid of real social interaction. You know, that's the way we used to do it. It can work, right? She told me she did try the internet though. She wasn't happy. She wasn't happy. The men were a little bit too old for her. All right, so I got that, guys. Let me know if you know anything about it. It's Pono. And then I found some M Haskell. So I'm assuming, and I looked it up, and these were only a dollar, that it is Miriam Haskell. I think these are more like from the 70s. Aren't those cute? They're and they're interesting beads. They feel like they feel like a rubber ball, but they're not squishy. And they've definitely got that little hippie vibe going on. They also have sort of crystals right there at the bottom. And there is still tag from Macy's. And I did look it up as well with the M Haskell. And some people were putting as keywords, they were per, they were putting, you got married on the internet too, Lonnie? <laughs> That's fabulous. And you have an absolutely beautiful wife. She is so pretty and you are a lucky man, but she's lucky too, because you're a nice guy. So yeah, I looked at Miriam Haskell, I think. So this must've been her later work, if you guys know anything about that. But yeah, I thought I would take my friend out there. Like I said, she's from Illinois. She has no idea. She's she's gonna be quite surprised and I think she's gonna have fun. And um, I hope she, she goes out there and, you know, tries to flirt with somebody nothing wrong with the old-fashioned flirting either right all right then i got this cute thing this is um mother of pearl on some black beaded kind of like seed beads but it also has some little station beads i think isn't that cute really really pretty and this was I think, oh, she let me have something free. That's what happened. The story didn't end there, guys. I was so upset and I just kept rambling on about how, why do they do that? They knew that I was going to come back and so forth and so on. And then, um, what did she say? Oh, because the Brighton thing was on sale. I think it was a red tag and it would have been on sale and so forth. And I said, so what are we going to do about this? Are you going to let me have something, you know, on sale or something? She said, I'll let you have this. So she actually let me have this for free. And it really wasn't. I mean, it kind of was her fault because she's the one who held it for me. No, the other lady held it for me. But I told her about it, too. I told everybody at the counter, please don't sell my jewelry. But they did. And, uh, yeah, lesson learned again from Tanya. You have to pay for that jewelry immediately. Guys, thank you again for being here. I really appreciate it. It looks like I have 13 people watching. I know it's a busy time on Saturday, and like I said, I'm leaving too. Ooh, where did this ring pop up? I also have a video coming up, guys. I hope you come back. I have another video that went, as I told you last time, stretched for three videos. It's the gift box that I got from Rose, and it has got some amazing jewelry in it. So I'm really excited to show it to you, and I hope you come back for that as well. And what else am I – oh, I did shoot some footage from – the last excursions that I had at my thrift stores. So you will see a ride along as well. And the Q&A, yeah. I got some great questions on the Q&A, about seven questions. So I'm probably going to cut it off tomorrow and, uh, well, you know, kind of take what I have so far. So if you have any questions, go to my Q&A video, leave them there because I'm going to address them in a recorded video. And I'll probably upload it by Tuesday or Wednesday, something like that, because I really want to get rose's um video up okay and i showed you the haul a little while ago guys it, i just uploaded it but i i videotaped it last night i recorded it last night but i sh i forgot to show you some more napkins remember i told you that i sell these napkins for about 15 dollars on um on etsy because people buy them for crafts especially you're going to look for interesting inter interesting patterns interesting subject matter these are birds who doesn't want birds right they love them and then look at this one and then i haven't now that i found these i forgot to show you these now that i found these i'm going to run these through amazon because the lego were the ones that were selling for 28 dollars. the um lego star wars napkins 28 dollars on amazon so i'm going to run these out too i did get one to scan up on amazon and i believe it was 15 dollars 
And this is probably the brand to look for as well, Caspin. So if you see any of these napkins, guys, do not leave them. Scan them, especially if they have the barcode. But even if they don't, like some of them are so vintage, they don't have the barcode. Do the, do the picture, uh, whatever you call it, on, on Amazon. But you can also just put them up on eBay and Etsy. But they go quick on Etsy. So does the vintage wrapping paper. Look at this one. This one's darling. A little lamb. So I know somebody wants that. That's just so cute. All right, so I got that as well. I forgot to show you that. That always happens, guys. I forget to show you something from my haul. Okay, then I forgot to show you this fabulous Hawaiian shirt. This is by, is it Tori Richard? And it is, I think it's made in Hawaii as well. No, it's imported fabric. Tori Richard design. Oh, it's cotton linen. And it says since 1956. Yes, it is Honolulu. But I thought the pattern was so different. So I picked that up for about $2. Really, really cute. It almost looks like a barcode or some kind of a computer code there. It's so cute. So I picked that up as well. Hawaiian shirts do really well. Uh, I usually get... On the low end, I get $15. On the high end, I can get like $25, $30. I've been lucky enough to find a Ryan Spoon once, and it was actually a women's, and I sold it on Etsy. But I have not found any since. I'm always looking, though. And I do look for the ones that are made in Hawaii, preferably. I don't really like the ones that are made elsewhere. I think they just have a, a stronger draw. So that's all. Let me see what's going on in the chat, guys. Okay. Um, Thank you, Lisa. I appreciate that. I do love to thrift. I, I try to keep hunting until I find something, you know, even though I'm kind of on a ban right now. I don't want to go till April because I have plenty to list. Oh, you have a rodeo, Miss Ward? Nice, nice. Yeah, we have a fabulous rodeo. I mean, it's something everyone should experience once in their lifetime. I love the little town rodeos. I have a lot of friends and and uh, family that live in the rural areas of Texas, and I love their small town rodeos where everybody's just a part of it. And there's big money involved for the you know the locals. There's huge money involved in these rodeos as well for the bronco riders, for of course all of the the livestock shows, and they concentrate on the scholarship end of it as well. That's why it's been you know a big money maker all these years. But I just love it. It's just something that's fantastic. It really is. The shows are great. I like to see the show because before the show, you get all of the livestock, the Bronco riders, the bull riders, the the parade of beautiful horses, and even uh, barrel racing. Um, what's the other one? Stagecoach race, races. It's just really a lot of fun. It's something everyone should should do once in once in a lifetime. And then, of course, when it's all over, they bring out the star of the show, some kind of a country singer usually, but they also have different. They had, I think we saw Blink-182 last year. Yeah, last year I saw Blink-182. My son was coming and he wanted to see them. So we went and saw them. And uh, so it's just a variety. I think it's like two weeks straight of shows and stuff. So I do not miss it. I love it. All right, guys. I think, is that it? That's my haul. Hmm. I do want to ask you, though, if you are new to the channel, to be sure and subscribe. Be sure and hit the bell so that you can be notified when I do upload a new video. Or when I go live on Saturday, it's usually not this short. Like I said, I'm a little bit of a rush to get out there and meet my friend. She's actually my coworker. We've become really good friends. Remember I told you I was showing her how to sell on eBay and Etsy? She's taken off. She's taken off. There's no such thing, guys, as holding it to the cuff and not sharing your knowledge. Because let me tell you, she shared something with me that I had no idea. She said, you know, I know about Christmas, and this is a brand that sells really well for Christmas. I just listed this on Amazon for $80. I would have passed it up. She told me about it. So, I mean, you know, there's just room for everyone here. I really, really do believe. So not only that, she's just, you know, looking at, she also realized she can make really good money on leotards. Leos, as she calls them, because her daughter's in gymnastics, has been in gymnastics forever. I didn't know there was such a following for leotards. She's selling them for $20. Her daughter's, you know, maybe used a few times. She even went to Goodwill and picked up some. So she's just taken off with it. I am so excited for her. And her and I become pretty good 
friends, and I'm glad to say that I, we get along well. We work in an office that literally her desk is like right here. I could touch her hair right here behind me. That's how close. That's how they put us. So it's extremely stressful. It could be, but she's really out. She's outgoing. I'm not. So we kind of have a good little mix there. Uh, she kind of forces me to do this and that and, and, you know, to join her for this and that. And that's what she did with this rodeo. So I'm really happy to meet her there. And, um, yeah, like I said, she is the one I've been uh, showing how to sell on eBay. She's taken off. She's even shared some things that I had no idea were desirable leotards especially well i know that the ballet ones are because i tried to buy some for my granddaughter and they were pretty expensive but she was telling me about brands about leotards for gymnastics and how they use them for competition and certain ones are good for this and that and so forth so there you go you just never know when you teach someone something what they will teach you right all right guys i'm going to sign off i'm just going to take a quick little chat uh, a little blurb here on the chat see what's going on with that Yes, exactly, Lonnie. That's so true. You cannot have them hold anything anymore. I'm not going to do it. Plus, I'm just putting it in my basket now. I mean, if they don't see me, I'm not going to steal it, you know. So if they don't see me, I'm just going to put it in my basket if they don't say anything. Once in a while, they say, oh, I have to hold that for you, ma'am. But that's what I'm going to do. Do not trust them. Thank you so much. This is the shirt that I hauled in my other video. So be sure and watch my thrift haul video. This is a Miss Me Jeans shirt and i was telling you how miss me jeans has kind of like you know nobody misses them anymore they're really you can barely sell them for 15 dollars. but i really like this shirt because of the embellishment i thought it was nice for the rodeo it's got like a little tribal print and then it's even got like knit right here like yarn i just love it and i don't know i may still resell it but i thought it would be a nice one for the rodeo so i'm gonna wear it all right so thank you i'm so glad that you were here fran thank you so much for being here Thank you, Paula B. All right, guys, I'm going to sign off. Thank you so much. I'm going to go ahead and read the rest of this chat when we sign. I'm so glad it stays on there now. And be sure and post some questions in my Q&A if you have any, because I'm going to start uh, researching the questions. They were great questions. And then give you a video on that on Wednesday, Tuesday or Wednesday. All right. And I'll see you soon. Uh, I think that's it. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, though, before you leave. All right. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.